I grew up right in this area, uh, born and raised on a poultry farm with cows. Uh, so I've been around it pretty much all my life. I did not grow up on a farm. <laughs> I am from Jonesboro, so this was a whole new ball game for me, but um, it's something I always dreamed of. I love the idea of being on a farm, um, and it just so happened. God put us together, and here we are. We mainly, well, we have kind of a wide variety. Uh, most are Black Angus, um, and then we have some Belted Galloway, the famous Oreo cows, uh, and then we have uh, six or seven of the uh, Scottish Highlands that are more her pets than anything. Uh, but then our bull is a registered uh, three-quarter Galloway, quarter Angus out of uh, Roundup, Montana. We started off pretty much just word of mouth, um, Facebook posts, uh, you know, friends and family, stuff like that. Um, we're still doing all of that, but now, uh, like you've seen the, pit, the the trailer back there, that's our our mobile meat wagon. Uh, gonna have freezers and stuff in it to sell USDA inspected uh, beef out of it. Uh, kind of travel around the local areas, you know, and set up on uh, weekdays, weekends, stuff like that. Try to sell uh, to people that don't necessarily want to drive, uh, you know, 10 or 15 or 30 miles to, to the house here. My day job is a diesel mechanic at a family diesel repair shop. Uh, so I'm a special ed teacher at Concord, which is about 30 minutes away from here. Um, and this is my fourth year of teaching. Uh, Raylan just turned five. Uh, Riley will be four in December and Liam will be two in just a few weeks. Um, and they loved the farm life. And up on the hill, Riley will say, I want my house right here one day. And so I, it makes us feel good that we're doing this for a reason. Kind of like he said, sometimes I ask, why are we doing this? Or why does it have to be this way? Why, is it, why does it have to be hard? But I think eventually they'll see all the hard work we put into it. Even though it is, it's hard shuffling kids between the lawn mowers and the tractors and somebody's always wanting to ride and then somebody's mad because they didn't get to ride. Um, we make it work. And, it, but you, and you, you ask how we, how we kind of juggle that, and it's, that's, it's a juggle. We are a three ring circus. I mean, 24-7, 365. Uh, there's not a day off, really. <laughs> so, um, it's, I, mean, I always say that you either, uh, you can either cry or laugh, and the only reason that you don't cry is because it messes up your makeup and makes your eyes swell up. So, you know, you just about got to laugh and, uh, and keep going. I try to be optimistic most of the time, but. It's, you know, it's, it's a struggle some days, but it's, I think it'll all be worth it in the end, so. You know, we go to work, we work hard, we come home. So even though there's hard work behind it, but just going out there and turning the ranger off and just, just hearing them graze, this is where we can just relax.